stand and let us sing the entrance hymn. the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good afternoon, my dear brothers and sisters. Good afternoon, Father. We are celebrating today the memorial of St. Francis de Sales. Bishop and Doctor of the Church. In this Holy Mass, we include all our personal intentions and supplications. Coming together as God's family, let us acknowledge our sins and be sorry for them. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, you my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have, have greatly sinned. sinned in my, in my thoughts, thoughts and in, in my words, words in, in what, what I have done, done and in, in what, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. the salvation of souls, will that the Bishop, St. Francis de Sales, become all things to all, graciously grant that following his example, we may always display the gentleness of your charity in the service of our neighbor. We ask this, O Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second book of Samuel. That night, the Lord spoke to Nathan and said, Go, tell my servant David, thus says the Lord, should you build me a house to dwell in? I have not dwelt in a house from the day on which I led the children of Israel out of Egypt to the present. But I have been going about in a tent under cloth. In all my wanderings everywhere among the children of Israel, did I ever utter a word to any one of the judges whom I charged to tend my people Israel to ask, Why have you not built me a house of cedar? Now then, speak thus to my servant David. The Lord of hosts has this to say, It was I who took you from the pasture, 
and from the care of the flock to be commander of my people Israel. I have been with you wherever you went, and I have destroyed all your enemies before you. And I will make you famous like the great ones of the earth. I will fix a place for my people Israel. I will plant them so that they may dwell in their place without further disturbance. Neither shall the wicked continue to afflict them as they did of old. Since the time I first appointed judges over my people Israel, I will give you rest from all your enemies. The Lord also reveals to you that he will establish a house for you. And when, he, and when your time comes and you rest with your ancestors, I will raise up your heir after you, he sprung from your loins, and I will make his kingdom firm. It is he who shall build a house for my name, and I will make his royal throne firm forever. I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me. And if he does wrong, I will correct him with a rod of men and with human chastisements. But I will not withdraw my favor from him, as I withdrew it from your predecessor, Saul, whom I removed from my presence. Your house and your kingdom shall endure forever before me. Your throne shall stand firm forever. Nathan reported all these words and this entire vision to David. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Forever I will maintain my love for my servant. Forever, I will maintain my love for my servant. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David, my servant. I will make your dynasty stand forever and establish your throne through all ages. Forever, I will maintain my love for my servant. He shall cry to me, You are my father, my God, the rock that brings me victory. I myself make him firstborn, most high over the kings of the earth. Forever I will maintain my love for my servant. Forever I will maintain my love for him. My covenant with him stands firm. I will establish his dynasty forever, his throne as the days of the heavens. Forever I will maintain my love for my servant. Please all stand. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. On another occasion, Jesus began to teach by the sea. A very large crowd gathered around him so that he got into a boat on the sea and sat down. And the whole crowd was beside the sea on land. And he taught them 
at length in parables. And in the course of his instruction, he said to them, Hear this, a sower went out to sow. And as he sowed, some seed fell on the path, and the birds came and ate it up. Other seed fell on the rocky ground where it had little soil. It sprang up at once because the soil was not deep. And when the sun rose, it was scorched and it's withered for the lack of roots. Some seed fell among the thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it, and it produced no grain. And some seed fell on the rich soil and produced fruits. It came up and grew and yielded thirty, sixty, and a hundredfold. He added, whoever has ears to hear, ought to hear. And when he was alone, those present along with the twelve questioned him about the parables. He answered them, The mystery of the kingdom of God has been granted to you. But to those outside, everything comes in parable, so that they may look and see, but not perceive, and hear and listen, but not understand, in order that they may not be converted and be forgiven. Jesus said to them, Do you not understand this parable? Then how will you understand any of the parables? The sower sows the word. These are the ones on the path where the word is sown. As soon as they hear, Satan comes at once and takes away the word sown on them. And these are the ones sown on the rocky ground, who when they hear the word, receive it at once with joy. But they have no roots, they last only for a time. Then when a tribulation or persecution comes because of the word, they quickly pull away. Those sown among the thorns are another sort. They are the people who hear the word, but worldly anxiety to lure of riches and the craving for other things intrude and choke the word, and it bears no fruit. But those sown on rich soil are the ones who hear the word and accept it and bear fruit thirty and sixty and a hundredfold. My dear sisters and brothers, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome to the National Shrine and Paris of St. Padre Pio. Why does Jesus teach in parable? A parable is a figure of speech in which a comparison is made between God's kingdom wherein it included its actions, its expectations, and something in this world either real or imagined reality. A parable is a primary means or medium of revelation, especially on the kingdom of God, to challenge the hearers or the audience to make an existential decision and to stimulate social analysis and to expose the contradictions between the actual situations and the law of justice of God. To this gospel parable may be divided into three parts. The first part, verses 3 to 9, which is the parable itself. And then the verses 12 or 10 to 12, which is the, what is the purpose of the parable? And then the third part of to this gospel or parable is verses 13 to 20, 
which is we can find the allegorical interpretation of the parable. The allegorical interpretation saying that the symbols in every detail narrated in the parable, the parable of the sower that we have just heard teaches us that listening to the Word of God is the first stage for the Word of God to take its effect in our day-to-day -day living. Perhaps the challenge for us into this Gospel, even the first reading, Jesus challenges us not only to listen, but to do His Word with an open mind and heart so that the kingdom, of, the kingdom of God will be made manifest in this world and, our, and in our day-to-day -day living. Amen. For your offerings in the envelope, you may drop them at the collection baskets. Let us all stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Through this saving sacrifice which we offer you, O Lord, kindled in our hearts that the divine fire of the Holy Spirit with which you wonderfully inflame the most gentle soul of St. Francis de Sales, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, pour us on the festival Saint Francis de Sales, you bid your church rejoice, so to you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his word of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and the archangels in heaven, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of us, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Sana in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Sana, O Sana.
Those who are unable to kneel, please remain standing with reverence. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the jewel, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat a bit, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Gilbert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, which in Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, Saint Padre Pio and Saint Francis de Sales, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may be married to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, and in Him, and the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honors is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. 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 All stand. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have that courage to say.
Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Oh, the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer its other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Able to kneel, please remain standing with reverence. Sisters and brothers, this is Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are invited to receive at his banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen.
The second collection, which will be done, is for the continuing development of the parish and National Shrine of St. Padre Pio, and for the needs and welfare of the sick and retired priest of the Archdiocese of Lipa. Thank you for your offerings. Guide me each day to learn how to Servant, and you are my king. I open to you my heart and my mind. Use me, Lord Jesus, my God. You are my. Let us all stand. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that through the sacrament we have received, we may imitate on earth the charity and meekness of St. Francis de Sales, and so attain like him in glory of heaven. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Prayer for intercession to Santo Padre Pio. All together, Padre Pio, Holy Monk from Pietralcina, outstanding saint of the present era, our bright beacon in this earthly pilgrimage, our sanctuary in times of trouble, Holy exemplar of great courage, with you our needs do we confide, as well as our livelihood, our help, and our might. Unworthy as we are, we pray that you concede, bless and grace us that our lives may be fulfilled. From sin may we abstain, in God may we remain, we also beseech thee, servant of the Most Holy, to instruct us in the Gospel, that we may reflect and believe. Our requests are before thee. Our hearts repent, resolving earnestly to not sin again, to always follow God the Father, together with the Spirit and Jesus the Mediator. Amen. Please be seated for some announcements. Una, sa inyong pagdalaw sa pambansan dambana, mangyaring pakiingatan ang inyong mga personal na gamit. Hangad namin ang isang matiwasay at maayos na pagbisita sa National Shrine. Ikalawa, mga kapiyo, kami po ay humihingi na inyong kaunting oras at pakikiisa para sa pagsusulat ng inyong mga pangalan at ilang detalye sa ating Pilgrims Information Record Books na makikita sa paligid ng ating mga simbahan. 
Ito po ay bahagi ng documentation program para sa pagpapalawig ng mga datos at turismong pangsimbahan at bilang alaala din ng inyong pagbisita sa Pambansan Dambana. Para po sa ating mga balikbayan, OFW at mga kasama niyong foreigners, doon po kayo magsusulat sa International Pilgrims Record Book. Gagabayan po kayo ng ating mga tagapaglingkod. Ikatlo, mga kapiyo, sa paghangad nating makapagdasal ng mas mataimtim at maayos, ninanais nating magkaroon ng mga upo ang may sandalan sa Divine Mercy Sanctuary. Sa ganitong diwa ay muli tayong kumakatok sa may mabubuting loob na maghandog ng tulong para sa katuparan nito. Makipag-ugnayan lamang po kayo sa ating pamisahan at opisina para sa mga detalye. Maraming salamat po. Ikaapat, para sa pagpapalaganap ng debusyon sa ating patron, ang kumpradiyan ni Santo Padre Pio ay pupunta sa Thailand ngayong February 20 to 24. Sa mga nagnanais pong sumama, kayo ay makipag-ugnayan sa opisina o sa pamisahan hanggang January 30 lamang. Maraming salamat po at mangyaring panatilihin natin ang kalinisan, katahimikan at diwa ng pananalangin sa loob at labas ng ating mga simbahan. Magsitayo na po ang lahat para sa pagbabasbas ng religious articles. Mga kapatid, manalangin tayo sa Diyos amang makapangyarihan upang tayo ay maging kawangis ni Kristo sa taimtim na pagdalangin sa tulong ng mga larawan at ng mga dasalan. O Panginoong Diyos, Ikaw ang bukal ng lahat ng pagpapala at biyaya. Ibuhos po ninyo ang inyong pagpapala at ang iyong bindisyon sa iyong sambayanan na nasa iyong harapan ngayon kasama ang kanilang mga gamit sa pananalangin na nagpapaalala ng iyong kabutihan, kabanalan at pagmamahal sa amin upang ang lahat na dumulog at magdasal ay magtamo ng iyong awa at biyaya. Luubin mong tularan namin ang kabanalan at aral ng Panginoon at ng mga santo magpa sa walang hanggan. Amen. Ama namin, sumasalangit ka, sambahin ang alan mo, Mapa sa amin ang kaharian mo, sundin na loob mo dit sa lupa para nang sa langit. Bigyan mo kami ngayon ng aming kakanin sa araw-araw at patawarin mo kami sa aming mga sala para nang pagpapatawad namin sa nagkakasala sa amin. At huwag mo kami ipahintulot sa tukso at iadya mo kami sa lahat ng masama. Amen. Abagi noong Maria na pupuno ka ng grasya, ang Panginoong Diyos ay suma sa iyo. Bukod kang pinagpala sa babaeng lahat, pinagpala naman ang iyong anak na si Jesus. Santa Maria, ina ng Diyos, ipanalangin mo kaming makasalanan. Ngayon at kung kami mamamatay, amen. Luwalhati sa Ama, sa Anak at sa Espiritu Santo, kapara noong una, ngayon at magpasawalang hanggan, amen. Abagi noong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya, ang Panginoong Diyos ay suma sa iyo. Bukod kang pinagpala sa babaeng lahat at pinagpala naman ang iyong anak na si Jesus. Santa Maria, ina ng Diyos, ipanalangin mo kaming makasalanan. Ngayon at kung kami mamamatay, amen. Luwalhati sa Ama, sa Anak at sa Espiritu Santo. Kapara noong una, ngayon at magpasawalang hanggan, amen. Luwalhati sa Ama, sa Anak at sa Espiritu Santo. Kapara nung una, ngayon at magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Luwalhati sa Ama, sa Anak at sa Espiritu Santo. Kapara nung una, ngayon at magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has been offered. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.
Give thanks to the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord. Proclaim His name. Proclaim His name. Give thanks to the Lord. 